Uh, well, wherever you are going to be having your school holiday this year, I hope it's a brilliant one. You've certainly earned it. But the year isn't quite done and dusted as yet. We've still got some results to get through, Brandon Yates. We put on a smile, okay, regardless of coming yep. so close this weekend, but having our frustrations. Let's see how our young sporting stars are. Putting on a working smile. We're not supposed to be biased <laughs> or anything, but inside I'm shattered. We were going to have a moment of silence, <laughs> but um, let's yep. dive right in. We've got hockey first. Yeah, there's been some great results over the weekend from our youngsters, and it seems like now that the holidays have, have started, um, um, the youth sports has just kicked into high gear, especially with Love national it. and provincial sports. Um, starting off with hockey, of course, the Under-20 Men's Junior Hockey World Cup has um, gone underway. And South Africa lost in their first game to England, but they managed to pull it back and pull off a 3-1 win over Canada. So it was a great result for them. That was the one result you chose. Yeah. Us losing to England. That was the one result, exactly. result you so, wanted and to focus yeah, on. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't that bad of a result. And then they pulled off a big win against Canada and um, they tied second in their group. I um, mean, India are two wins from two. So if they manage to pull off um, some kind of a result against India, they've got a very good chance of getting through to the quarterfinals. Nicely done. Then plenty of water polo happening across the country at the moment, certainly in Cape Town. The biggest tournament's happened this weekend. Um, the SA Schools Water Polo Tournament just came to a close in KZN. And we've got some under-19 results here. Um, Western Province got through to both finals, the girls and boys. But unfortunately, they lost both. Um, but KZN pulled off a 12-10 win against the boys. Well and then done. the Fau 10 girls pulled off a massive 10-6 win against the girls. So... And now that'll lead to the SA Schools team being named and they'll compete against uh, you know, teams from Australia and New Zealand next year. So hopefully we can send a very Good strong luck, team man. to compete against them. Hopefully you get your colours this yes. week. Um, then plenty of soccer happening as well across the world yeah. this weekend, but um, also on the new sporting front. Yeah, a very big international tournament is happening in South Africa, the Kasafa Under-20 Championship, which will see all of the top teams from around Africa taking uh, part in this competition. South Africa pulled off an 8-1 win in their first game, and now they've just defeated um, Lesotho 1-0, which was one of their games that they were kind of worried about. Sorry, not Lesotho, Swaziland. And um, so they are top of their group at the moment. And um, if, uh, let me see here, if SA need Lesotho to not beat Botswana, or they must at least draw in their final game to progress to the semi-final. So it's looking like they will definitely get through. Yeah, we've, we've got the chops. I absolutely love yeah. it then. Um, two wins from two. Some indoor hockey, which we don't often see. The under-13, under-14 finals just came to a close this weekend. And also, just going into some fixtures that are happening this week, um, the SAFA under-19 men's championship starts today at the Philippi Stadium in Cape Town. And then more hockey, like we've been discussing, the under-16 and under-19 indoor nationals are happening in Cape Town this week as well at UCT, Bishops, and a couple of other venues around Cape Town. So... If you love indoor hockey, Cape Town's the place to be this week. Yeah, and if you thought hockey at that level was blistering, you must see it go indoor. The it's pace insane. is crazy, It's insane, yeah. Actually. Awesome, action-packed stuff to look forward to. Awesome, dude. Thanks for, for wearing that smile. I had him sign off on it's a, tough. It's an tough. embargo <laughs> that he would smile this morning, regardless of our weekend sporting results. Uh, but thanks again to everyone who contributed as well. Let us know what's happening at your school. What teams are you supporting? Time now to get the brains up and running. It's a Monday time for Guess Who? And we're going old school today.